Have a nice death. Gifted to me twice. Clearly this is a game that you guys look at and you say, this is a Mike B game. And you were right. You're totally right. Thank you, Vextris, uh, for sending me a copy. I got yours. Cube Tech. I'm going to send it back. Hope you get your money back, dude. Uh, but thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, this is this is absolutely a game for me. It's a an action roguelike. Uh, similar to like a, a, a Dead Cells. Uh, similar to like lots of other like roguelike action platformers. Um, it kind of has a combat feel like Hollow Knight, um, and just the uh, procedure generation and the, uh, the the atmosphere is very, 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 very interesting. Um, so Death is the CEO of basically like Death Incorporated, right? And so it's just got a little corporate mug and all that shit, right? Uh, and so you are basically exploring um, the business, the corporation, uh, and <laughs> like going floor to floor and making sure people stay in line okay there's some there's some other story that's going on as well with like some people uh basically like rebelling against i guess uh and so you fight some of them and they have clever names like just like regular people like brad like your first boss fight is brad <laughs> so we're gonna get it we're gonna play this uh i see uh this is yeah this is my uh my, my first run that i'm working on now i'm on an hour and some change into it Zap! You can see his face, very upset. That's what happens when you, when you die. Like you're like in dead cells, you just like kind of uh, come out of a pile of bones or whatever it was. Uh, this is our book. We'll take this with us, and then this is uh, one of your assistants. So if you if you play dead cells, you recognize this space here. These are all the things that I've uh, unlocked or I've seen or whatever. Um, <laughs> And then over here is where you could spend some currency. Now we're not gonna worry about that right now. We'll explain that. We're gonna get right to the action and see. How far we could get? We should be able to beat Brad. We gotta make our way to Brad. So just like just like every game like this, you have a number of stages you can select at the end of each uh, individual stage. Uh, you get a couple options of where you want to go next, and that can be like a shop, or it could be an upgrade center, or it could be just more fighting, or whatever, right? Um, and then at the fifth, you get the option to or not option, but you have to fight a boss. Uh, this is uh, an upgrade, basically, if you've played any of these games. Uh, these upgrade along individual paths, right? Uh, actually, you could see them here. And so you choose a path and you start to explore up that path like a talent tree, effectively. So for me, I'll do reduces damage below five to one. That sounds pretty dope. Let's get that stable job. Everything about this game is... Uh, is corporatized. And it's very funny, actually. <laughs> I'm zooming through this first part. Uh, you can go through and kill everything. You can get currency from killing things. Uh, you can get random drops from killing things. But you don't get something guaranteed from killing things every time you kill something. So sometimes you're just like, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and just run past everything. I <laughs> just, just let's get to Brad. Let's get to the second second world. Now I'll tell you, the second world is way harder than the first. The first you could just breeze through, no problem. Uh, well, it's no problem. There's been Come some complications from time to time. But the second world is insane. Let's go ahead and actually kill some guys so you can see how the combat works here. Get out of the way. I have a dodge. I have my regular X attack. Um, look at these guys. I can charge my X attack like this. Whoa, bam. I can do an up attack. I can do a down attack. Oh. Oh! Did he get me? Hey, did he got me? Got me with a punch. So the health bar, upper left corner, let's take a look at that. So there's a gray area. There's white, black, black, obviously no health there, right? And then white is health. And then gray is, okay, I'm trying to do this and talk at the same time. Uh, <laughs> gray is your injury. Oh, fuck. Okay, let's... There we go, let's get on here. I love how the music, the music stutters whenever you take damage, it's pretty funny. It's like a record skip. <laughs> <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty funny. Anyways, collect some ghosts. Oh, and what is this? Ooh, it's increased max HP. So, notice that I have an injured. The dark gray is basically your your injury, right? Um, <clears throat> that will heal as I play, or as I collect things, anima and whatnot from the different mobs. Um, but the black area will not. So that's something you have to get another type of upgrade or another type of pure heal, basically, in order to 
raise that number. Just a way of making, you know, the, uh, the, the trek through this thing not so easy. You can just kick a bunch of heals and you're good. You're done. You have to manage your injuries as well. Uh, vault, equipment, storage. Sure, let's go to any one of these. I don't know what each one, each room is. In terms of what they offer. Uh, but the ones that have bosses have names. You know, like Brad. <laughs> I was just cracking up playing this game for the first time. And just like all the Brad bullshit and all the names and everything, T Hung or whatever. It's a it's a boss that like a mini boss that has a, a a giant noose around his neck that he uses to like try to strangle you. <laughs> oh whoa 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 whoa! What is all this? Okay, you can see the the rage mechanic here. Oops, let's go ahead and hit this. Lots of damage all over the place. So as a crow, it was a new enemy. So that was when you build up your rage meter. It's the, uh, the purple that's filling up in the upper left corner. That will... Ooh. Curse rerolls curses. Ooh, that's kind of sweet. Dang, I like that. Um, it will fill up as you get kills, and then you could use it to unleash that attack. Now, every spell that you pick up... I have no spells picked up yet. Uh, every spell that you pick up is... Whoops. Okay. Uh, has a secondary attack. Or actually, they have a few attacks, which is pretty, pretty freaking cool. Um... Let me see if I can find one. Jeez, guys, come on, hook me up. Let's see, Thanage here. Here you go, William Hung. Uh, Vault Shop. Okay, I think the shop will probably definitely get me something, some kind of ability. I love it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we go. Knives or. Ooh, what is this? Healing orb. One charge. Okay, it's 15. What is this one? 30. Oh, I can't afford that. Well, shit, I might as well get this. Alright, I can see one heal up there. Yay. Can't afford anything else. Yay. Control room! Ooh, why is it funneling me into this? No choices. What is this room? Oh, yes! Oh, this is fantastic! You don't get this every time! This is so good! Master, welcome home! You came at just the right time as the Kool-Aid man here. Your wishes are my command! That's right. I don't I don't report to the Sorrows. I don't take orders from you, Master. The Sorrows are the ones who are uh, 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 basically trying to overthrow the company from within. They'd have, there's no respect for the, uh, uh, for death from those guys, like Brad. <laughs> anyway, so this is where you go to do upgrades. I have 13 souls. Uh, you can see a cute little currency, little Hollow Knight looking currency in the upper right corner. Um, <clears throat> upgrade costs a little bit more than I can afford if I dump these in here. Boom, boom, boom. That's pretty much it. I could spend uh, a Prismium, but I don't have any Prismium. So, yeah. I don't know what to do about that. It sucks, but no upgrades for me. Let's go see Brad. <laughs> the anime, there's all these little animations that they have, little cutscenes that are fantastic, uh, especially the beginning. The beginning cutscene is super good. <laughs> Back already? Boss is ridiculous. Can't you see how easily I can pick you up? Then it shouldn't be too hard for you to do it again, right? Otherwise, we all know what it meant. All right, Brad. One, two, and three. Whoop! He's gonna sweep up. Just much of that. No spells. Oh, ouch! Your dodge gives you iframes. You're basically invincible as you dodge. Keep that in mind! Just like that. <laughs> you can just dodge right through attack. Whoa! Oh! Okay, I have to take this heal there. Oh, fuck! Shoo, man! Uh-huh. Come this way, good. Yeah, not getting any upgrades or anything is really making this fight last really long. Mm -hmm. Oh! I'm trying to just do like those up and down attacks because it gives me an easy out if I need it. I could jump up and then just bolt to the right or left. Up, down. 
can come this way. Yes, you are. And then we go down, up, down, up, up, over. Okay. I love this. This song so good. There's so many good tracks in this. Like just, just for like an elevator music perspective, you know, like this is the soundtrack that you, that I would run to intro my streams because that's what I use elevator music at times in jazz. <laughs> Still a little on the spooky side, more like a Halloween, I guess, uh, elevator music. Oh shit. This is, this is really long. This is taking so long. Let's activate this. Maybe we can get Mr. Damage there. Man. Mm-hmm. Come on, baby, come on. I can't afford any more damage here. Patience. Whoa! Come on. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Come on! Rest in paperwork. All right, well, that's, that's it. I get to show you guys the thing I wanted to show you. Fucking Brad, that was that was a weak ass RNG run right there. All right, and then you just, there he goes. Now we're back where we started. Look at his face. I love it. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so we go. We pick up our book again. Go for a spin. Yeah, whatever. Sparklies. Yep, 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 yep. Here now, now. Notice the first one. Feral fists. It says kill two, kill five Thanagers. I've already killed two, obviously. Um. The more that I kill, the greater the reduction of the cost to unlock this is. And it maxes out at 95%. So, there's two ways you could progress in the game. You could collect these uh, tokens or cards or whatever. Um, and then you can turn around and uh, spend them. Like, for example, Dirty Dagger is now only 20. Previously, it was 500 because I killed so many enemies. So, boom, that's it. So, you can buy things at a discount. You got to scroll down because you see they're in kind of a weird order, right? So, Boulder Rain, I've used that a couple times. Kill Brad twice. We did that. This is how you get just a little bit stronger. Now, it doesn't help if you don't get any freaking spells or anything before you get to the first boss, but uh, it's something. <laughs> uh, let's see. Earn. Okay, so this one I'm just going to incrementally get more and more because it's just so it's souls. Solar is the um, that's the currency in the game. This little souls in the upper right corner, as a matter of fact. Ah, boss, the crew and I had a question. It's a big, uh, mind you. Word, uh, word is, you turned a blind eye. Blind eye saga to Brad's excessive time off. We'll address it at the next Works Council meeting. It's on the agenda. Doesn't seem above the board to me. Oh, yeah, see? See? Everyone. Everyone's disrespecting my authority. You can't be having that. Doom, 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 doom. I want to install this game on a slower hard drive so I can get more of that song. <laughs> More of that loading song. All right, let's just zoom through this. See how much we can actually zoom through. Now, there are little hidden areas. I'm kind of floating over the top here, but there are hidden areas you could go down to. Uh, let's see if we find one. Oh, we completed the level. Look at that. We're so fast. Vitam, Vitam Mana Department. <laughs> I just love the character design. It's cute with a little coffee, a little heart on it. Blast that door. Get this. They give you more souls when they catch up. Wait, did I miss it? Oh, I just get more souls. Anima. Never mind. That heals my injuries. That I don't have. Yet. Aha! Let's charge it up. No, you guys aren't coming over here? Oh, damn. All range. Oh. Plus. Okay, let's see if we can just... Oh, man! I'm getting knocked out of my... Oh, I'm getting knocked out of my spells mid-strike! Mid Good, Mr. Stun. Another one over there. You should be done. There we go. Woo, that was rough! And we got this. A heal. Pure heal. But well, let's see if we can get some heals through. It's more mana. Oh, there's some right there. Oh, that didn't heal me at all, actually. I thought that was going to heal my uh, injuries. Huh. But I don't know what the fuck that does. 
<laughs> Hold on, listen, listen, let's consult the employee handbook real quick. See anima. Uh, see anima is a burst of license that each burst can be used to heal your injuries. Injuries are, are, are displayed in gray. Okay, it did not heal me. Um, see the anima because he anima burst each time. Heal burst can be okay, so that's not it then. Huh. Alternative attacks. See cross. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me see. Solary prismium. Yeah, no, nope, nothing in here about that. Nope. Okay. All right. Well, I don't know what that does then. <laughs> maybe it slowly, maybe it slowly heals you. That's what it is. Fanager, we gotta defeat this guy five times or unlock that next weapon. Or at least make it dirt ass cheap enough. Bidoo. Alright, here he is. Am I gonna get any weapons to, to for demonstrate during this play? Oh shit. We have to get out of here. Whoa. things that get out of the way. He does change direction pretty quickly, so gotta be careful. Or I can, or maybe I'm just, well, maybe I'm tripping. Oh, he's focusing more on these large attacks, actually. Usually he will, uh, oh, there you go. That's why he turn, turns directions there. He'll charge his shit up. Whoa, what the fuck? Taking a beating, taking a beating. Anyways, he'll change direction as the thing's in the air. Whoa, shit. Oh my god! Oh! Oh! It's okay, that's what you're gonna be doing the first several times you play, honestly. Just lots and lots of this. Do try again. Try again. I get zero resources hanging out after I'm dead. It all goes on my, my, my employee assessment. Take this. Go do another run. Uh, this is like the this is like the worst RNG, but I'm glad because now you get to see how bad it can be. <laughs> There's clearly no balance here, or maybe there was a room I could have gone into to get an upgrade. Maybe that's what it was. I guess it was my fault. If we don't get anything, any any spells this run, then uh, I mean, sorry, <laughs> that's that's just a bad look for the game. Period. Because spells are such a huge part of the of gameplay. Alright, let's grab this. That thing that just gives me souls, I guess. Yeah, that one gives me souls. Okay. Five whole souls. Vaults. Let me see equipment storage. Amazing equipment storage. Oh, did I get equipment storage last time? Maybe I did. I passed on it. It's okay, I'll take the blame. It's fine. I thought that but that, but they've they've dropped in other rooms though. Not necessarily exclusive to this. Yeah, like this. These encounters that you get all the time. I had to jump over that. That was pretty slick. Oh, God, their predictive bullshit is so good. Let's just kill this guy. Oh, yo. Oh, or I guess they shoot straight. No, they don't shoot just straight. Let's see. Yeah, okay, it is predictive then. Clever girl. Alright, some souls. Got like 12 souls or something there. Yeah, boy. Oh, this guy. An upgrade. Let's see, gain, retrain, one, and... Okay, more damage from us to obtain 30. Oh, just straight up 30? Let's take that. Get some money. Yep, let's go. Oh, dang. Dude, just let me have it. What did that do? Did they give me more? Shit, I don't even know. <laughs> Those flying books are deadly. Their their paper airplanes that they they throw at you are pretty precise. Aha! Finally, see? Yeah, they're just like. Well, I guess we're in that room still, but still. Now, now we have an upgrade, and which brings me to one of my biggest complaints about the game, besides RNG. Uh, biggest complaints about the title is the damn UI in the upper left corner shows that the Y button is on the left hand side and it's really annoying because it's not. I get it, they want to, maybe for aesthetics, they want to put the, uh, uh, their main, your, your Sith, your main attack. They want to put that at the top, right? Because it's the main attack. 
But when I glance up there to see that, you know, one spells in one place, one's in another, it's a little off-putting. The B's in the right spot, but the X and the Y are split. <laughs> anyway, so let's go ahead and see what the X does. Let's see, Vault. Uh, let's see, find a mad apartment. Hazardous floor. Ooh. Let's go to Hazardous floor. Test out our spell. Jeez. See if we ever get past fucking Brad and then get immediately annihilated the next world, which is going to happen. So now I can show off at least the secondary attacks this thing has. So first, primary. It's a dive. Nice. Ooh, drops this. And then there's also a down strike. Oh, did not work. Hold on. That's a double. Okay, so I guess not all of them have a down strike. Nope, it's just a, it's a dive. Okay. Now it does have a rage attack. Whoa. But we're gonna wait till we get to a room like this before we spend it. I bet it's probably directional. Oh, like that. Whoa! Damn, that was a waste. Ha ha ha! That was a waste. Oh god, I'm gonna die! Whoa! Oh, they got some health. Holy shit. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> More ingots, more, and then the loop starts over. And that's it. That's how the game works. Oh, my controller likes shut off for some reason. Um, that's how the game works. I'm not going to do another run. That was very upsetting, those, those first two runs. And I feel like I played enough today. I already played a couple matches before, before, before recording this. But you guys get the gist. Yes, it's a Mike B game. Uh, but frankly, and let, me, let me tell you. I don't know how much more time I'll put into this. Because it is, uh, there, there are already so many games out there that do this. Right? Um, now the title is in early access. Now I remember when Dead Souls first started out, we already played a million games like it. Right? Um, but it was the constant updates and the changes and the integrations and the cross promotions with like characters or whatever. Like they did a lot of work to make that game greater than what it was when it first started out. And I feel like Have a Nice Death is that title that could do that. Um, published by Gearbox. So hopefully there's some publisher support there. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, this this is a game that has a lot of potential. It's solid as is. I do enjoy it. Um, but I would rather fire up Dead Cells. <laughs> I, I already, I'm already far enough along that I'd rather fire, fire up Dead Cells. So the game has to give more uh, than just, uh, you know, a new paint job and, uh, you know, interesting, funny characters and all that. I mean, that's all good and all. But the core game loop is still... Uh, it's still it's good, but it's also lacking compared to some of the others. So I'm hoping to see more of that uh, refinement in the future. But until then, the game is called Have a Nice Death. Currently available on Steam for $14.99. Solid early access price. I like that. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mike B. I will see you guys later.